Zack Snyder has been pretty integral to the zoo, for better or worse, since it started with Man of Steel. He was a producer on Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad, will act again in the same role on Aquaman, Gotham City Sirens, the Suicide Squad sequel, the Wonder Woman sequel, and Deadshot. As well as this, he directed Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice and Justice League, with their shoots being handled by Joss Whedon. However, in a tweet stormed by entertainment journalist Josh Dickey, whose previous writing jobs included Variety, Mashable, TMZ, and The Wrap, the official story doesn't match the real story. According to Dickey, and later by Collider's Matt Goldberg, Snyder was fired from Justice League. The official statement at the time of Snyder's exit was that he was leaving to deal with the suicide of his teenage daughter, and it's clearly understandable that he'd leave the project behind for that reason. However, Collider's report backing up Dickey has it that Snyder's firing was not only open knowledge, but that Snyder's version of Justice League was unwatchable, according to two separate sources who spoke to Collider. Obviously, Snyder's personal situation played a part in why the story was kept out of circulation and the end result was ultimately the same, Snyder was out, Whedon was in. Snyder clearly still has some involvement in the zoo, as he's still acting as an executive producer on the films listed as earlier, and IMDB lists Snyder as a director to Helm Justice League 2, so he's obviously not done yet. Whether or not the story is true is, when you come right down to it, irrelevant doubt Justice League was terrible, performed poorly at the box office and Snyder's reason for leaving, whether fired or not, made no impact on any of it. 